So I think that's the end of the demo. Let's see what happens here. Who's this? Meet some new people. Maybe the story will progress a little bit. Mm-hmm. So this is it. So you're gonna continue? I guess I have to read it. That insolent little plebeian shop, which is the focus of, of such so much rumor. In my mind, it's so common, so dirty, so dull. How does that little prowl get people to come in, I wonder? Or prowl? Well, no matter. This is the perfect opportunity to show that little shrew in this whole city what a truly elegant shop is like. Uh oh. This girl's gonna be a bitch and start her own shop beside mine. Oh, she got her own fairy too. Uh, you know, you don't own that store yet, right? It belongs to your parents. Silence, you insolent fairy. It'll be mine eventually. That's practically the same thing. Oh, little shop for here. Your days are numbered. Got some competition now. And I told you to address me as young mistress. Fade out. Day nine. Oh, oh we got a spy in here, Tyr. Who's this? Oh, ho, ho, ho. My genius astounds even me sometimes. Yo, this, this girl thinks she's solid snake hiding in a little cardboard box sneaking into my store. She thinks she'll get away with it. Look at her said, she's about to pound that box in. Best way to learn about your foe is direct infiltration after all. And with strategic espionage abilities such as this, I can't fail. Um. Hmm. The interior decoration is as seedy and plebeian as the outside, which means their selection of items must be astounding. What could it be? What sort of thing could that filthy little prowl sell? Perhaps some kind of black and white animal. A skunk? The ownership of which violates international treaties. Perhaps the most delicious apples this side of the Mer de Blanc. Perhaps one of those books father says I'm too young to read. Um... Oh, be quiet, whoever you are. You are interrupting my train of thought. Uh, could you come out of the box, maybe, at least? It kind of looks weird on the floor here. Huh? But that means you can see me. Uh, well then. In all honesty, I shouldn't be surprised by this. I should have expected a foe as canny as you to break through my otherwise impenetrable stealth techniques. Okay. This confirms it. You are indeed worthy of being my rival. Huh? <laughs> rival? Uh, I failed to introduce myself, of course. I'm the owner of the monolithic item store chain Big Bash. Well, to be specific, Specific, I am the owner's only child and inheritor. Alouette is my name, remember it. Everyone around me calls me Young Mistress Alouette, but you, oh my rival, shall have the privilege of calling me Lady Alouette. Uh, Big Bash? Sounds kinda sucky to me. It is a massive store chain with a capital stock value of 15 billion picks and a yearly gross profit of 500 billion. Oh, tear. I heard the commotion and came to see what was happening, but why are the two of you discussing Big Bash? Uh, I'm uh, not really sure. Hi. Interesting. You also have a fairy. Huh? Ladymer. Prime. Hey, hey. Sh yeah, yeah. What's up? Oh, uh, mistress, I see your attempt at infiltration failed. <laughs> oh, what are you talking about? Their superior detection ability simply caught me off guard and overwhelmed my cardboard. That's all. That's a fairy. I didn't know they existed. Dang. This one sure is sharp. You got a problem with that, kid? I mean, you hang out with one, too, so what's the big deal? <laughs> Call me Prime. You could say I'm Alur, the Mistress Guardian. Uh, well, I'm reset, and this is tears. Nice to meet you. Mm. 
Yeah, real pleasure to meet you too, bookworm. <laughs> eh? Are you by chance referring to me? <laughs> Psh. Psh. <laughs> Looks like. Uh, like there's anyone else here, I'd call that. Well, the pleasure is all mine then. <laughs> Alright, mistress, we've introduced ourselves. So how about we head home now? What are you talking about, Prime? I haven't even finished introducing half of the fantabulastic, amazing incredibleness that is Alouette, inheritor of Big Bash. Psh, if we stick around for that, we'll be here all week. Come on now, we're going home. Reset? Listen and listen well. Enjoy your happy, carefree days as long as you can. For when I'm through with you... Yeah, 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 see you guys around. So, uh, what do you think that was all about? That was not dissimilar to me in a hurricane in human form. Yeah, Alouette's still standing right in front of me on the screen, but okay, she didn't really leave. Oh, she's gone now. Alright, what now? Let's take a look at the... Yeah, the week. So we're on day 9, and... On day 15, we have to pay 30,000... Which isn't too bad. I wonder if like the last day will be a million or something. Let's see status. Maybe go run another dungeon with Louis. See what stuff we can get. I want to go get new stuff, so... Yeah, we should go do it. Well, can I talk to... Tier, what's this? Store atmosphere according to tier. Light, dark, gaudy, plain. It's all plain. The, I don't really know what to do, but okay. Merchant level. Oh, here we go. Level ability. Starting level, level one, level two, customer sell. Level three can take orders. Level four, more items. Can be found in the guild in the market. Level 5, you may fuse items. Go to a merchant guild to do so. Level 6, change wallpaper for the store. If you have one, check the market and elsewhere for new papers. Level 7, advance orders. You may accept orders in advance from customers that you fulfill at a later date. Alright, cool. I don't want to really spoil the rest of it, so... Um, like, I don't know if I have anything to fuse anymore. Let's go to town square, it's flashing. What? Hey, 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 now, what's wrong? My, my, my dolly. Uh, the shoulder's been ripped. This is my favorite. What? Hey, wait, can you give it to me a second? Oh, okay. Let's see, I have a little thread and a needle in my apron pocket here. And loop, loop, don't poke myself. And done, how's that look? Yeah, you fixed her. Thank you so much, lady. You're welcome. I need to go now. Bye-bye. Hmm, not only are you good at sign crafting, but you have a fairly deft hand at needlework, too. How about you, Tyr? I bet you sew a lot of stuff, too. Fair. Huh? This is no time for dawdling. Uh, where to next? I guess fairies aren't very good at using big needles, huh? Another... Awesome conversation. Let's go to the Merchant Guild and see what they have. Fusion. Need ingredients to fuse things. Here we go. Huh. So it tells you the ingredients and the results. A rank one sword and bow and dagger and stuff. But I really don't have much of this. I, I don't have many ingredients. Some stuff I can't even identify yet. So I can't really do much yet. Uh, get a steel sword. A thief knife. 
pretty one. Composite bow. Practice lance. Sturdy glove, nice. Okay. Get like a bunch of good shit. Big shield, all right. So yeah, now I don't really have any money. Time to go sell everything. Go run a dungeon too, I guess. See what's at the market before we go to a dungeon. Adventure cave, okay. Hand knit muffler. So cool, there's a lot more stuff, cooler stuff than the basics that you can buy now. All these rings, I can buy the uh, willpower ring now. Enhances power, allows uh, to cleanse himself of status ailments it can break. A, it's like a purification ring or something, and a heal ring. Heals the wear over time, it can break if the user is unlucky. It costs 7,000, it's expensive. It's a thankful statue. More books to buy. Some of them are out of stock though. Some food. Oh, so here's new flooring for the um, the store. Cool. Store, uh, you can get a plank floor, tile floor, stone floor, brick floor. Here's wallpapers, lacquer walls, smooth finish, plank walls. Starry wallpaper, resort wallpaper, wooden counter, legendary counter, barrel counter. Barrel counter smells like alcohol. Wooden counter, legendary counter, red carpet and green carpet. I don't know if I can actually use that stuff yet. Let's um, go run a new dungeon, I guess. Floor six to ten. 